Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am your Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, and this is my review for No Straight Roads, which came out for the PlayStation 4 not too long ago now. In fact, I remember the day it came out because it was the first time in a long time that I decided to take a shower. Trust me, I was in need of one. So, what in the name of Isaac Newton is No Straight Roads? Now, you might think that this might be some kind of queer eye for the straight guy simulator, but you would be wrong, dear viewer. In fact, No Straight Roads is in fact rather akin to the musical We Will Rock You, which as you may know, was a musical featuring the work of the artist formerly known as Queen. And when I say formerly known as, it's because they're not exactly a complete group anymore. In fact, they haven't been for a very long time. Because, uh, I'm trying to think about a rather appropriate way to put this. Uh, let's just say one of the members of Queen, uh, went to live on a farm with another family. Yes, let's go with that. Went to live on a farm with another family. So, it's rather like we will rock you. Just without the AIDS. And I'm going to leave that joke right when it is. I'm sure I'll get a lot of shit for it. But I'll just wipe that shit up. With a... Uh, toilet paper. I have no idea where I'm going with this. So, basically, the premise of No Straight Roads is... You are playing as two lovers, uh, a brother and sister. No, wait. No, they're not brother and sister because that would be incest. But they are lovers. I think. The game doesn't really spell it out. You know, doesn't spell out T-H-E-Y-A-R-E-L-O-V-E-R-S. In, in so many letters. It, it, it more hints at their relationship, so I think they're uh, people from completely different families, not from the same family at all, uh, who are trying to bring back rock and roll. Because they live in a society where rock and roll has been outlawed or isn't allowed or turns people on and they turn into zombies or so. I have absolutely no idea. Anyway, there's no rock and roll. They're trying to bring it back. They're going up against this big corporation called EDM, I want to say. Uh, yes, I think it is that. Or the bloody empire or whatever the fuck they're called. And uh, they're trying to bring rock back. So you have to go through various stages, fight a boss at the end of every stage, and uh, bring rock back. And as I'm looking at this gameplay footage now... I have just realized that I recorded the final boss fight in the game. So, spoilers, I guess. That's only if you've got this far in the video. I mean, I've already made a joke about someone dying. I've already made a joke about AIDS. I've already made a joke about incest. So, frankly, if you are still here, uh, you're a pretty sick little bastard, aren't you? Yes, yes, I know you are. So am I. Welcome to the party. My phone number is down below. Feel free to give me a call at any time. I'm still looking for the next Mr. or Mrs. OCG. I'm not picky. Like some people. So, where was I? Oh, yes, actually reviewing this video game. So, as I said, you're trying to bring Rock back, fight bosses, go through various stages. The combat is akin to hack and slash. By that I mean you hack and you slash. Uh, at first I thought it was going to be some kind of music rhythm game, but I was sadly mistaken. Uh, instead it's a hack and slash, like I said, or a brawler. Or, basically, if you fight. You go from one group of enemies to the next group of enemies to the next group of enemies. You platform a little bit, you get to a boss, you stick your foot up their ass. You move on. You go back to your little headquarters, you can upgrade, you gather new fans through social media, some fucking nonsense. And then you go on, and as you can see here, this is the final boss of the game. 
spoilers, I guess, but as I said, if you're still here, you're a sick bastard. Tatiana, that's the final boss's name. Uh, and then eventually you either will or will not bring uh, Rock and Roll back to the people. Spoilers, I, I think you do. I'm not sure. It has some kind of message at the end. I wasn't really paying attention because I was busy masturbating at the time. But yes, yeah, so some kind of big message, you know, about being better to each other and treating each other with kindness and, you know, always wiping front to back, never going ass to mouth, you know, the usual bullshit. So, did I enjoy the game? Uh, well, that depends on what your definition of the word okay is. I thought the game was okay. Uh, it's a re pretty short game. Uh, as I said, you just go through different stages. There's music playing all the time. The music's okay. You know, it gets the job done. Uh, was a little bit distracting while I was masturbating at the end, but apart from that, and, uh, you eventually get to the end of the game. Will I play the game again? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Uh, new release for the PlayStation 4. And I think I've droned on long enough. I've already used up all my best jokes. You know. Uh, so let's uh, score this fucking thing now. So I'm going to give no straight roads. Not to be confused with Queer Eye but the straight guy. Or we will rock you. Uh, seven. Point one. Point three. Point five. Point one. Point one. Point one. Point one. Point one. Point one. Out of ten. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My review for No Straight Roads. If you like this review, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down, or even the middle finger. Leave some abuse for me in my comments section. I'm sure I'll be getting some shit about some of the jokes in this video, but never mind. Uh, and until next time, remember, stay obsessed with gaming.